Hello class, welcome back. Uh, once again, my name is Dave Gloria, and this is my client, uh, Jamie, my wife, and we are here for our CAP number three assignment for Kinesiology 557 here at Cal Baptist University. And today we'll be performing two tests, the uh, ACSM curl-up test and the ACSM push-up test. We'll go ahead and show the execution, the setup, some common faults, and I will go ahead and demonstrate that and then we'll go ahead and test my client. Afterwards, we will also take a, a post-exercise uh, heart rate and blood pressure. So here we go. Okay, for the first test that we're going to perform will be the ACSM push-up test. And basically the setup for that is either a mat or a floor. And then basically what we wanna do is Place our hands. The hands need to be, need to be standardized. Okay, they they don't they're never modified. Um, so for me, since I'm a male, I would my starting position would be as such, with my hands just underneath my shoulders. My back would be straight, and then I would go ahead and perform. Or I'd be on my toes, and then I would perform the push up. So some common faults with the push-up test. Number one, what I see a lot uh, right off the bat are the elbows flared out, okay? which can do some serious damage to that shoulder joint. And so what we want to do is practice keeping the elbows underneath that uh, shoulder, more this position here. Okay. So for the test, also what we need to do is that chin needs to touch the ground without allowing your abdomen to touch the ground. So it would look something like this. Okay, so let me go ahead and just turn here from this view. So you can see my back, so you can see my legs. <clears throat> so we keep everything straight, okay? Back is straight, hands are underneath the shoulders. Okay, I'm looking Straight ahead, I'm not looking down. And to perform this test, elbows stay underneath, chin hits the ground, and I come back up into this position here. <clears throat> Some other things that we don't wanna do is a sagging back um, or rear ends or butts in the air. So this, would not constitute a, a push-up, nor would this. Okay, those are some also some common faults. And with the test itself, um, what we're looking for is kind of a rhythm, a steady rhythm. It's not timed. It's just basically when the client, uh, the, the motion becomes jerky or uh, the technique starts to fall out a little bit, uh, we see those common faults start to happen, that's when the test ends. So that's what we're going to be looking for uh, with my client. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her uh, prepared to take uh, the ACSM push-up test. Okay, so now uh, Jamie is going to go ahead and perform uh, the ACSM push-up test. And once again, uh, what we're looking for is a fluid rhythm. There's no time limit. Um, again, but we want to stay away from the saggy back. We want to stay away from the, the butt up in the air. Um, we want to have to make sure that chin continues to touch the ground on every rep and that she fully extends at the top of the movement. Um, once she starts to strain or once she, uh, the, the movements become jerky or any of those uh, common faults start to show itself, then we'll go ahead and stop the test and Wherever she's at, that will be her score. So Jamie, go ahead and get into position. So immediately, we just want to remind to keep the back straight, okay? We don't want it to sag, okay? We want to keep arms not flaring out. We keep them underneath that shoulder. And Jamie, when you're ready, go ahead and begin the first rep. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight. Okay, watch out for the elbows a little bit. Nine. Ten. Okay, good. See, it's, everything so far is looking good. Twelve. Keep track. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, toes need to stay on the ground. Okay, back needs to remain straight. Those elbows need to stay in. That chin needs to continue to hit the ground. Good. Where are we at? Seventeen. Do a seventeen. Okay. 17. 18, 17, 18, good, 19, 20, good, 21, okay, let's make sure that rhythm stays good, 22, 23, 24, 25, all right, so Jamie completed 25. Everything looked pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and look this over just to make sure that everything looked proper. But I think uh, we can safely say that uh, for the ACSM push-up test, Jamie uh, successfully scored a 25. Okay, for the second test, uh, we're going to do the ACSM curl-up test. And so basically the setup for this test is first we need to uh, get two strips of tape. So as you can see here, I've laid two strips down. Now they are 12 cent centimeters apart, okay? And basically then what happens is, and I'm gonna demonstrate this, is I'm going to lay down on my back and basically I'm going to perform a curl up. Now, so my fingertips are gonna start right at the edge of the first strip. Okay, my knees or my legs, so to speak, are gonna be 90 degrees at a 90 degree angle. And to perform the test, I will start with my head flat on the ground. And then basically what I'm gonna to do to a metronome at a 40 beat per minute count, I'm going to raise, keeping my chin, so to speak, tucked in until my fingers touch the other side of the tape and then I come down in the rhythm with the metronome. Now some common faults for this test are raising up and then the head not coming all the way back down. So it's very important when proctoring this test that the client's head comes all the way back down. Some other common faults is that the fingers stop um, reaching the second strip of tape. This often happens to, with fatigue and some other common faults is heels might come up off the ground to try to get some extra uh, curl there. So we need to uh, make sure that our, our clients are not performing any of these faults. Basically, again, this is not a time test. Uh, this test ends when your client begins to strain or the movement becomes jerky, their technique starts, technique starts to fall out of place then we would stop the test. And so what we're looking for, again, flat on, the, on your back, head against the uh, mat or the floor, fingertips at the beginning of the tape, and then we're going to curl up, fingers reaching the second strip of tape, head all the way back, just like this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and have my client uh, prepare for this test. Okay, so my client, Jamie, is in uh, the setup position here, and you can probably hear the metronome in the background at 40 beats per minute. She is going to, at, with each beat, she's going to move forward. So the first beat, she touches the tape, and then she comes back, head should be on the ground by the second beat. Okay, we're looking for those common faults as well. Uh, but hopefully uh, we'll go ahead and have a successful test. So Jamie, whenever you're ready with the metronome, begin. Two, very good. Okay, again, we're looking for that form. Head's coming all the way back. Fingers are clearing uh, to that second tape, strip of tape. Okay, the heels are remaining on the ground. Yep, count. Okay, good, she's counting because I just forgot. Um, very good fluid motion, nothing's jerky. So we're just gonna count for, for a little bit. Where are we at? 12. 12, 12, 
13. So the rep counts when the head comes back to the ground. 15. 15. 16. 17. 18. Keep counting. Once this test is finished, we're going uh, immediately. We're going to go to the table to take a post-test heart rate and a blood pressure. How are we done? Okay. 23, 24, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay, she whispered to me that she was going to stop. So we're going to go ahead and jump to the table. In a few seconds, we're going to set this up to take our post-test BP and heart rate. Okay, here we are just a few seconds after. So we're immediately going to take a radial pulse. Okay, that's along the thumb. So we're going to do that now. So we're at 35 uh, beats per minute uh, at 30 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and give that an overall for one minute, 70 uh, beats, uh, or excuse me, 140, right? 35? No, that would be 70, 70 beats per minute uh, for a one minute uh, heart rate count. So now we're going to go ahead and do the blood pressure. Okay, we have found... That brachial pulse. Align the blood pressure cup in the right position. Okay, and we have a blood pressure of 128 over 86. So uh, di uh, systolic and diastolic, um, one, uh, what did I say, 20, 26 over, 128 over 86. So uh, we'll go ahead and record that in the data sheet that will be sent over um, for uh, testing purposes for this assignment. And that wraps up our assignment, the ACSM, push-up test, curl-up test, post heart rate, and um, blood pressure. Thank you once again for watching. We'll see you again next time. God bless.